So this is that adjuster that I'm using. These tools come in a pretty handy little kit where you could take and uh, you know lock the lock nut down this way. You would hold it in position here, and then I go ahead and lock my lock nut into position. Now inside the service manual, you guys know that we have a torque spec. Look how small that is. 5.8 pounds. So our torque wrenches don't go that small in foot pounds, do they? No. Nope. So we're going to go ahead and multiply that by 12. If I go ahead and just tighten this right now, I'm going to alter my clearance. Okay, so that's the point of this tool to where we're holding it and doing that. Well, how are you going to torque that? We're going to use a crow's foot so that we can go ahead and still use our holding tool here. And one thing that we've talked about with the crow's foot is that we need to take this to what? 90 degrees. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's here or it doesn't matter if it's here, but we need to be 90 degrees so it cancels that out so that we don't have to do any what? Math. Any math. So go ahead, hold this in place, and then and then what we have to do is anytime we do that, we want to go back in and do what? Recheck. When we go back in, we want to recheck and we make sure that our clearance has not altered. We got that nice little white. If we've done it right, the next size up will not go in. It, I would have to force this thing into place, pushing the valve spring down. You saw how sensitive that is. But then you know that your valve clearance is going to be set right. Why do you think it's so important that we actually torque this nut? It vibrates a lot. You can see here, we got a whole pile of these stripped rockers from training over the years here. This one is such a great, like I said, learning motor because this is really small numbers. And let's take a look here at what we're dealing with if we over tighten that. Now, 70 inch pounds, let's think about that. Okay, do you see where the threads are damaged? So it's pulled the threads on here. Now, if the threads are pulled and that can't torque, what's going to happen in no time at all running that engine? That's going to come loose, run down through the engine, and then we're going to have a really bad day. So just real quickly in review, lock that down, torque it, verify that your clearance hasn't changed, and you should be good to go. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.